big challenge faced by DHS and many other organizations is the massive amounts of complex data that's streaming into these organizations. And there's really no better way to deal with that data, to understand the data, to discover important uh, relationships between pieces of data than visual analytics. Visual analytics is the key technology, I think, that we need to really make sense and understand all this information. I've been doing visualization for 20 years, and what's really exciting about this particular time is I think we're going to be able to bring visualization into a whole other level of usefulness. And so I've been working in graphics for a long time, and, and this really is one of the most exciting developments uh, in my time. It will enable the people who need to get information to get that information and to be able to make decisions using that information. And those people include not only analysts who have long-term views or strategic views, but it includes the Border Patrol agents who have to deal with, with information or incidents that occur at a border to deal with it on an immediate tactical basis. The visualization aspects allow individuals to interact with this massive dis disparate set of data in ways that allow them to see multiple types of connections, to see multiple types of relevancies among those, among those data entities, and to see them all in one place, in one time, as opposed to doing it linearly or serially or one after the other. You can see a history of where we all started and a lot of us in this community started in scientific visualization where we're working mostly with these nice science numbers. Had a good science foundation. Then we went into information visualization where we were de de dealing with abstract information spaces. The reason that neither of these are addressing these is now we need to get into the decision sciences, the analytical sciences. How do we actually make decisions when we're posed with all of this information? And that requires different disciplines that are traditionally involved in these two core science. It involves decision sciences, cognitive and perceptual scientists on a whole different degree, but it also in involves the, the database the folks and the knowledge engineering folks. How do you represent information? How do you build knowledge structures that can then be used in order, in order to make decisions based upon these structures? So it's a much broader science agenda. And so you'll see a lot more interdisciplinary uh, teaming, actually interdisciplinary. This is going to be a, a contact sport, if you will, in terms of being able to do this. And so we don't want to do this separate from these other communities. What we want to do is engage these other communities in order to do this is this science and technology will have an, an enormous impact on how all of us deal with masses of information. You know, its time has come. Now is the right time to do it. And we've used the phrase detecting the expected and discovering the unexpected. That's really what we all want to do with our information spaces. We want to discover what we think is in there. We want to detect what we think is in there. But also we want our information spaces to, you know, to give us the clues that we can discover what may not be in our information spaces and give us that degree of insight. And that's what this is all about. It's all about visual and analytics and insight. Well, I think, I think there's a couple things we'll make a lot of progress in. One will be just understanding the problem better and developing basic principles that let us deploy systems uh, cheaply, reliably. Basically, we need to have engineering infrastructure so we can respond to new challenges as they occur. Um, the second thing is I think we'll, we'll uh, develop a bunch of practical systems that people will be able to use. I mean, they'll be uh, deployed rapidly, I think. I think the technology is almost ready to go in many instances. And I can see these systems just being deployed in many different areas of DHS. In five years, I envision not an NVAC, but I envision a consortium. Uh, nationwide, or if not even nationwide, global activity in visualization and analytics. I envision a consortium of, indi of individuals, of institutions, of government agencies that are all working toward developing visual analytics science and technologies. That's the goal of this activity for S&T 
It is to create that foundational base on which a worldwide effort in visual analytics can be sustained.